my loves and welcome back to my channel if this is your first time watching one of my videos hello i'm nocturne and i'm a tarot reader here on youtube i hope you guys are well i hope you're staying safe i hope you're having a lovely day and today i have a super exciting reading for you this is going to be who are you destined to be with so i am going to be looking into the energy of your person their looks how your relationship is going to be together how they see you how they treat you and things like that so i am super excited i love love and i love doing love readings so before we start the reading i just need you to pick one of this pile right here this is group number one this is group number two and this is group number three if you guys want to choose your pile with the help of dice let me add those for you So this is group number one, this is group number two, and this is for group number three. So pause the video, see which group calls out to you, and that will be the group that has your message. So let's get straight into it. Okay, my beautiful group number one, let's start your reading. So we have the King of Pentacles. Hmm. I want to say a lot already, but <laughs> let's wait until we get more cards. So let's start with the energy of this person that you're destined to be with. Let's start with the energy. Ooh, interesting. Okay. Now I just want to grab a few more cards. Energy of group number one's person. The energy of group number one's person. Ooh. One more. Or is that it from this deck? have a w in their name because we have a lot of w's here one second a card just jumped out <sighs> okay and finally one final deck wow i love it Okay, my beautiful group number one. First of all, this person is so hardworking. Like I wanted to say that from the very beginning, the second that the King of Pentacles came forward for you. This person is someone that is very self-reliant. I feel like they've been through so much in life and they've had to kind of rely on themselves and they're like a self-made person, okay? They're very hardworking because of the things that they've been through in life. Uh, I see that they have a little bit of a wall they're not someone that's very easy to get to know. So even though they're very kind and they're friendly, I feel like there's only, you can only know this person to a certain extent. I feel like there's still a little bit of distance that maybe their friends feel when they're around this person because they kind of keep that inner side to themselves. Um, they're someone that's very loyal. Once they are with you, you are the only person that they think of, that they look at, that they fantasize about. Like literally, they are someone that's very, very loyal. They're very loyal to everything. They're very loyal to the person they love. They're very loyal to their dreams, to their goals, to themselves. They've overcome so many obstacles. So the only person that they've been able to rely on really is just themselves. Um, again, like I mentioned, they're such hard workers. So I see that their career is very solid. They're someone that's very reliable. They're going to be very protective of you. They're someone that wants to make sure that you're okay, wants to make sure that you know you're set for life. Um, they're especially with a squirrel heel here. They are definitely someone that, you know, invests or saves their money, makes sure they have enough for a rainy day because they have overcome so much. Like I mentioned, they want to make sure that they are being very, not just realistic, but very responsible when it comes to their life and the lives of the people that they love. Okay, guys, so let's grab some tarot cards now. Can you tell me more about group number one's person? 
interesting. They have seriously been through so much, you guys. Mm. Yeah. They definitely believe in marriage and monogamy. Okay? They definitely believe in marriage and monogamy. I can see that from their energy. Um, you know, it's very strange. Okay. Okay, this is very specific, you guys. And um, obviously, there's a lot of you guys. So when I get very specific messages on general readings, I always want to say like, you know, take it with a grain of salt. It might be different for all of you guys, but it's important that I say it. Um, I feel like for some of them, growing up, they didn't really have a good upbringing or their parents were like the, their parents' relationship wasn't that great. I see that maybe in the past, their mom was mistreated their mother could have been mistreated by their father and things like that and because of it they have such a strong need to ensure that their relationship works out and that they treat their the people in their lives the people that they love their partners they treat them with respect and not the way that they saw love was growing up so i hope that makes sense but you know, there's a feeling of nostalgia. There's a feeling of I got to make it right for my mother too or for the person that I love that was hurt growing up. I need to ensure that the person that I find when I'm older, my person, I want them to know how loved they are, okay? I don't want to be the same as the person I saw growing up. So he takes commitment very seriously, marriage commitment. Um, if this person is with one person, then that's it. That's that person for life. Sorry, guys, have I been saying he? It doesn't matter. He, she, it's like sometimes it just comes out of my mouth but I feel like this person is someone that definitely puts commitment on a pedestal they would never ever want to start a relationship with someone if they knew they weren't 100% in it like they are someone that is so 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 loyal and they will never want to take that love away like as in if they're in it they're in it for life kind of thing um but yeah guys so that's the energy of the person that you're meant to be with again like I mentioned this is a self-made person. So no matter what happens their way, because they're so resilient, they're so hardworking, and they knew that growing up they could only rely on themselves, they're always going to have money. They're always going to be successful because they will always find a way. Okay, they're very responsible, very reliable, definitely someone that you would want to have in your life. So yeah, guys, okay. So now let's go into, how does this person look? How does this person look? Okay, guys. Oh my goodness, I forgot to mention this. So with Sagittarius and whole, again, like I mentioned, I feel like this person is someone that really had to venture out, find their own way in life. They had to make opportunities for themselves. So because of that, they are very confident in who they are. And they are also someone that really wants to see the world, okay? They want to, someone that will want to experience things with you. They will want to travel with you but they are very whole as a person. I don't think this is someone that feels insecure. I don't think this is someone that will ever feel like, I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to do that. Like they're self-thought. They're very confident in who they are as a person, which is great. Okay guys, so now let's see. How does this person look? <laughs> My goodness, you guys. Loyalty has already come out twice. Look at this, okay. Loyalty, loyalty, where are you loyalty? Okay, so we have knight, loyalty, romance, and chivalry, a love of honor, okay? This person does not play when it comes to love and relationships. Commitment is so important to this person. Commitment is everything. Like, if you guys are going through a difficult time, they will bear the weight on their shoulders too. Like, you guys will be partners for life is what I'm trying to say, okay? So a love of honor. This is someone that you can really trust with your heart. This is someone that is very, very loyal and will have your back no matter what. And also, I love that this person is definitely not someone like, they're not a person of many words, but they're very charismatic. Like people take note of what they say because they don't say much, but when they do, it hits. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Um, very, very charismatic, just like a knight. And the beautiful thing is like with full right here, they don't show much of their emotions of who they are to other people. Like I mentioned, right? As we could see in the very beginning, they have a wall. So even with friends, like friends feel like they know this person, but they don't actually really know this person. There's a little bit of a distance, okay? So they keep their true feelings masked or who they truly are masked. You are going to be the only person that is really privy to who they are as a person, which is something that I think is quite intimate and something that you will really, really value and appreciate. So anything else, guys, in regards to how this person looks? How does this person look? 
So I see that they could have angular, angular, um, some angular features because every time night comes out, it makes me think of like a really nice jawline or something like that. Okay, again, we have stag. Stag is someone that's very dependable, someone that's very reliable. One second. Okay, so it's basically between two, okay? We have either the knight and stag, which is someone that's quite angular, someone that's very reliable, um, broad shoulders, things like that. So if they were male, they could be very tall and just look more athletic. But if they're female, it could be that they have nice, really good uh, posture, things like that. Or they could have very soft moon-like faces, okay? With the water guardian, it makes me think of cancer moon. And we ha also have the dog spirit here. So see, everything else is a lot more like rounded, cute button nose, things like that. So obviously there's a lot of you guys, but either they have very angular features or very soft, rounded features. Okay, guys, anything else you can tell us about their appearance? Anything else you can tell us about their appearance? There you go. <laughs> we have cups and pentacles. So pentacles, again, angles, okay, angles. So they could either have, re you know, really good jawline, really good posture, things like that, really angular, or like the cups, like the moon, like the water, really flowy, okay, really flowy, really round, almost ethereal, almost ethereal. You know, like when I think of ethereal, I think of like, Legolas of Lord of the Rings or Arwen, you know, also from Lord of the Rings. I just think of elves, like something about them almost looks like they're not from this world. Or they could look like knights, literally, like knights, like, um, what's, what's, Aragon. <laughs> Sorry, you guys can probably tell I was watching Lord of the Rings last week, but yes. Okay, interesting, but definitely good looking, you guys. Okay. And also, I just want to say it feels like they're not from modern times, like as in their looks, is very like um, classic. They have very classic looks about them. Okay, so now let's go into your relationship together. So how they see you, how they treat you, things like that. Okay, so let's grab this. How do they see group number one? How does their person see group number one? How do they see group number one? Wow. My goodness. Okay, how do they see group number one? Oops, car jumped out. <laughs> you bring out a side of them that doesn't really come out with anyone else. Like it only comes out with you. How do they see group number one? How do they see group number one? <laughs> we have whole again, this is the second time has come out. How do they see group number one? Okay. They are so protective of you. How do they see group number one? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, guys. So, we have, let me just move, I have so many cards here. Okay, so we have death, we have the six of pentacles, the prince of cups, we have wholeness, we have don't take it personally and the sacred woman. So I wanna talk about the tarot cards first because those were the ones that first jumped out. So with death, the six of pentacles and the prince of cups, I can see that your arrival is gonna feel like the end of an era for them, the end of a whole book. Okay, something about you coming into their lives brings in a huge transformation for them. Okay, it's like you've brought them back to life. It's almost like there's my life before group number one and my life after group number one. The amount of love and light that you bring into their lives, the, the amount of joy that you bring into their lives, it's like insane okay we have wholeness here and you see the moon and the sun it's almost like you come into their lives and you bring like light even in the darkest corners of their lives where they never thought that they would ever have find light so there's this feeling of like i found my person i feel whole now there's nothing else i could ever want and the only thing that i do want to strive for is ensuring that group number one is happy and has a good life too i want to be the best partner for them Okay, they will want to keep charming you. They will want, they will be very generous with you. They will want to show you 
how much they love you by maybe gift giving, making sure they take you out on dates, planning things for you. Like they're just very generous with their time, with their money when it comes to you. They want to keep charming you. They want to keep taking you out on dates, things like that. They are very, very, very protective of you. You are literally the sacred woman for them. Like there is no one else that is more beautiful. There's no one else that is more, you know, this is, this is no, no matter whether you're male or female, they just see you as the ultimate is what I'm trying to say okay there is a warmth about your personality there is something very different about the two of you guys and your energy but there's a warmth in your personality that they don't have and they're so captivated by it by it they honestly think you are the most beautiful person in the world okay we also have don't take it personally if someone starts to speak unkindly to me i'll remember that they've got something going on that has nothing to do with me like maybe they just pooped their pants yes that's probably it so they are very protective of you and they will want to make sure that you always feel good about yourself so if you come home after a long day and you tell them this happened to me and i'm really sad or whatever they will try to be funny with you the way they will try to make you smile is like maybe they just pooped their pants you know maybe they're just grumpy maybe they're not, they like the way they do it is in like a really funny comedic way like the fool here fearlessly revealing emotion helping people laugh at absurdity and hypocrisy this is what i mean you will only get to see the side of them because they want to make you laugh they want to make sure that you're always happy when you're around them and things like that but yeah guys i just want to grab a few more tarot anything else guys in regards to how this person will see group number one Again, you guys, we have the Six of Pentacles. Their love language is acts of service and gift giving. I can see that. Like, they are very, very, very generous with their time and generous with their money. Like, they want to make sure that you know they've got your back. They will be there no matter what. They will be there to help you if you're having a bad day, if you need a little pick-me-up, if you want to eat something. Like, if you're sad, they'll know, okay, I need to buy them, like a pizza or a burger or this special ramen from that special restaurant that'll cheer them up like that's what they do okay it's double so literally they are so generous with you guys with their time and with their love um actually i just want to grab one more oracle okay anything else guys in regards to how person again we have the full moon you guys literally literally complete them okay and they are going to be so very protective of you protect your energy and hold your stars close you are literally their reason for being so i see group number one that this person is going to love you so very much with all their heart and they're someone that you can definitely trust they're loyal to the core they're very good looking they have a very classical feature about them like i mentioned they are either someone that looks like a knight like aragon you know from a lord of the rings very angular very kind of like uh, good posture things like that or they could feel uh look very ethereal very like soft and um enchanting almost like an elf like legolas or arwen things like that but anyways groom number one i really hope this reading helped i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a like and subscribe to my channel and i really hope i'll see you guys in my next video bye Okay, my beautiful group number two, let's see who you are destined to be with. So again, a little recap, we are going to be looking into the energy of your person, their looks, your relationship together, how they see you, how they treat you and things like that. So first of all, let's get straight into it. So we have the 10 of pentacles. Hmm, interesting. Okay, I'll wait before I say anything. So let's go straight into the dice. So energy of group number two's person, the person that they're destined to be with. So, okay. Oh my goodness. Interesting. Okay, let's grab a few more cards. So the energy of group number one's person and who they're meant to be with, who they're destined to be with, group number two's person, their energy. Okay, cards just jumped out. Ooh. Okay. Okay, let's grab one final oracle. Group number two is person. Group number two is person. No? Not this deck? Oh, okay. <laughs> wow, we have wings again. Okay, interesting guys. So, first of all, your person, group number two, is fiercely 
fiercely protective of you. Also, they want to build a life with you. I see that their career is already very stable. They definitely have some coin. <laughs> They're definitely comfortable and happy in their current situation, their job situation and things like that. Um, I see that with Porcupine Spirit and the Wolf, they have almost like this aura of like, uh, how should I say this? Like people want to approach them, but they're a little bit scared. <laughs> they're a little bit scared, almost like eat prickly, but they're actually someone that's very kind. But I think it's mostly because of their eyes. Something about their eyes is so piercing, you guys. Like it makes me think there's kindness in their eyes, but at the same time, it's like people don't want to mess with them, okay? And it's not like they're someone that's mean or anything like that. Definitely not. But it's just something about their energy and their aura. Like I feel their energy right now. It's like, it's almost like they're oh, intimidating. That's the word that I wanted to say. They're very intimidating because they're not afraid to speak up. They definitely look like someone that knows what they're talking about. They know what they're doing. They're definitely someone that people look up to in their field. Um, yeah, it's almost like people, okay, if they, there's disagreements or people are kind of like trying to figure out what to do or something like that, they look up to your person and what they have to say. Like they respect your person's opinions. I also see that with Owl Spirit, you see clearly now and Wings, they have a very unique way of seeing the world and the, a very unique way of um, just figuring things out. And I think that's also why people really respect them in their career, in the workspace, because they have a very distinct and clear perspective. I also see that the way they do their work is very different, it's very unique to them. I also see that with the porcupine spirit and the wolf, they might be doing a job that only they can do. Like when I say that, it's like maybe they work in a big company, in a big corporation, but there's a specific thing that they do that only they can do. Maybe they oversee a team or things like that, but what needs to be done, like maybe this is an example, like whether it's editing a video, something to do with tech, whatever it is, it's very specific to their skill set. So even though they oversee other people, it's only them that can do what they need to do is what I'm seeing. Okay, guys. So anything else in regards to this person? Anything else in regards to group number one's person? Like their energy in general. They definitely, they make money. They don't necessarily spend that much money. So there's definitely a lot of money in the bank. Um, so we, oh my God, you guys, what did I just say? So there's definitely a lot of money in the bank and then we have money so we have the ten of pentacles we have money so definitely you guys like they are set okay so something about the the work they do and in their field it just makes so much money and because they're very skilled it's like yeah money's coming in but at the same time they're not really someone that likes to spend money so it's just there you know um but I definitely do see that you're gonna shake up their, their life. Like something about you feels like a breath of fresh air, okay? Um, whether you're male or female, we have young woman here. Something about your energy feels so young when it's compared to their energy. So it def definitely does feel like, whoosh, like you come and you're they're just like blown away. Like, whoa, where did this person come from? Is what I'm hearing, okay? Interesting. So now let's have a quick look into their looks. Guides, what can you tell us about group number two's a uh, person's looks, their looks, group number two, their looks, oh my goodness, okay, we want to be shown this again, interesting, let me just grab one more, guys can tell us about group number two's looks, because we're being shown, okay, like I wanted some clarity and they're like we already gave it to you okay guys so um <laughs> sorry it's just let's go to looks first okay because we have a lot of messages so first of all I wanted to know what kind of hair like color they had but then we have companion with black hair and brown hair so I just wanted to clarify do they have brown hair or black hair and then we have this mountains with brown hair and black hair <laughs> so they're like we already told you it's brown hair or black hair so um yeah, so it's probably going to be that group number two. Your person probably has black or brown hair, something like that. Um, or maybe it's brown, uh, but in certain lights it looks black, or in certain light, or it's black and in certain lights it looks brown, things like that. But I think they have darker hair is what I'm hearing, okay? Again, we have wings. We keep seeing wings. Guardian angel, you are not alone. Wings. We have an owl spirit with wings, okay? So something about them, okay, feels almost like other world, like I can't even explain it, like there's just, 
their energy feels very like almost serene like i think even if they were stressed or even if they were frustrated or worried about something there is an air of calmness about them also i'm hearing that as you are going to meet this person or as this person is going to come into your life you are going to experience a lot of synchronicity a lot of really weird occurrences uh, manifestations double numbers whatever it is i feel like your guides are going to be sending you a lot of signs maybe you're going to be seeing a lot of feathers um, or you're going to be seeing an owl or you're going to be seeing weird birds like looking at you things like that when i say weird birds i mean birds that you don't usually see but i feel like there's going to be a lot of synchronicity as this person starts getting closer and closer into your life is what i'm hearing okay in regards to looks back again something about them is just so very i don't know again like with mountains okay like solid like like something about their physical appearance feels solid and feels reliable like almost regal almost like this person is like oh my god are they royalty or something because it feels like they're so regal you know we have the high priestess here again someone that definitely commands um respect like people just respect them even though your person is very low profile and it's like eh, whatever but something about them just seems so regal and people just like respect them is what i'm hearing okay um now we have pioneer okay so with pioneer they just wanted to show again your guys just wanted to show that this person is doing something that is a very specific skill set like only they can do they're almost like pioneers and the way they think is outside of the box they do things or think things that other people haven't before and i think that's why they're so appreciated in their company or in their field um but this person is definitely someone that is going to be very protective of you, very loving of you, very devoted to you. You guys are going to have a very, very beautiful relationship, which I'm going to be looking more into in a little bit. But I definitely do see that there's almost this feeling of like, you are my star. I'm devoted to you. I am going to almost like, okay, with Virgo, it's very much acts of service. Okay, I love you. And therefore... I will do what needs to be done in order to show you how much I love you. So maybe they tell you they love you four times a week or whatever, like seldomly, only when they really feel like it's bursting out. But they will show you they love you all the time. Okay, so okay, guys. They don't want to give us too many clues about how they look, just that they definitely have dark hair, black or brown hair, and they definitely feel tall, by the way. Also, yeah, I forgot to mention that because we have mountains right here. And we also have, you know, all the wings, the birds, etc. It does feel like they just feel tall. They feel high, like you have to look up. So even if you were really, really tall, I feel like this person is even taller than you. Okay. So now let's go into how your relationship together is going to be, how they see you, how they treat you. Okay, so let's go. How will they see group number two? How will they see group number two? Oh, <laughs> wow, that's so cute. You know, it's so funny because people get quite intimidated around your person like they think oh my god this person like they're so knowledgeable there's something about their looks there's something about they, the way they carry themselves that is so i don't know intimidating but when it comes to you they're like a little child they're like ah hi group number two hi group number two i love you group number two things like that um let's like they're just very almost like um charming and playful around you okay um let me just grab a few more cards first so anything else in regards to how this person is going to see group number two. How will they see group number two? <laughs> one more. Just one more. Oh, no? Okay. How will they see group number two? Oh, you want to come out? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. And finally, we have money again. <laughs> group number two. How will they see group number two? Okay. So we have magic, joy, the three of cups, the hierophant. We also have boundaries, awaken, release, money, and we also have breathe. Inhale, stardust, exhale, magic. 
magic. So they are literally so grateful for you, okay? They see you as one of the best things that has happened to them, okay? With magic, like they honestly feel like what how you two met almost feels very serendipitous. It made them believe in magic because there's no way that somehow someone like you could fall into their lap is what I'm hearing. There's something that makes... Like, again, like I mentioned, right? I got in the very beginning, almost like you just whoosh. Where did this person come from? Like, you just came in like a breath of fresh air. Something about you feels so warm and so new and so exciting. They're so grateful for you. And they want to have new traditions with you. They, It, it feels like I want to build a life with you. And with you, I want to get married, have a family, own a home, things like that. Whether you guys go through with that, you know, that's something that you can... Um, figure out as you go along but i do see that they want to build a proper life with you they just want to be with you i also see that with the three of cups there's a lot of fun that you guys are going to have i feel like your relationship is the kind of relationship where you can be at home and enjoy each other's company snuggle up watch a movie things like that but at the same time you like to go out you like to try new places you like to see art galleries or see what's happening in your city experience life together being adventurous together things like that like you guys find the joy in everything going to the cinema going bowling, whatever it is, you guys just have so much fun together. This person is very protective of your relationship. I feel like they're going to set very clear boundaries in regards to other people. Maybe family members from their side is going to be a little bit nosy, let's say, and they're going to be setting very clear boundaries. Listen, I don't want to. This is my relationship. I don't want to share this relationship with anyone else. This is my... Like, it's they... they how should I say that? They respect your relationship so much. They don't overshare with people. They don't like kind of like inviting people into their lives or into your relationship, things like that. If they're having issues with you, they're not going to share it with other people. They're just going to try to talk it out with you. But you guys are so different that it really feels like you opened their eyes into a new world. Like you've invited them into your world which is so different which is so enchanting which is so magical to them and it feels like whoa like you've awakened a new side to them and same thing with you it feels like they are coming from a completely different world and they are introducing you to so many new things okay i see again okay with money definitely money is not an issue for them they are very happy spending money to be with you spending money on you things like that they don't have an issue at all also i feel like in the past it's not like they have an ego but there's someone that's very grounded okay like we already saw that with the mountain too there are someone that knows um what's right or wrong <laughs> and they don't have an issue standing their ground but when it comes to you and when you guys have disagreements and things like that i feel like they definitely have no issue releasing their ego or is releasing this need to stand their ground even though they know you're wrong they'll be like okay yes you're right do you know what i mean that's the kind of thing like they'll fold for you is what i'm trying to say okay and finally we have breathe inhale stardust exhale magic i definitely do see that you guys are going to create really magical moments together what they say to you what you say to this person is definitely something that feels very very positive and something that feels very magical to them anyway they feel like they're just on cloud nine constantly 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 so this is so beautiful you guys okay anything else guys anything else in regards to how they'll see group number two how will they see group number two how will the person that they are destined to be with see group number two wow Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. We have boundaries again. Look at this. There is something about you. Sorry, this I know this isn't about um I know this isn't about your person, it's more about you. I feel like group number two, you are such a kind person. You are so loving. You are so loving of others, but there isn't a balance in regards to how much you give. Sometimes, look, we have Libra and no. So sometimes it's like, because you're so kind, you, I'm trying to find the right words, okay? You do so much for others, but others sometimes may take that for granted because I'm getting this message twice now. It's almost like they feel like, listen, I, I want you to set clear boundaries because you're not going to do this for that person when every time you try to call this person, like it almost feels like sometimes you have friends that call you only when they need you 
like when they want to talk about themselves or when they're going through something but then when you need them they're not really there or you meet them and then they just talk about themselves but they never actually ask any questions about you because they're not interested in your life things like that so this person loves you so much and this is something that they pick up straight away and they're like you need to set clear boundaries i'm not gonna have my person be disrespected like that i want you to know just how strong you are of a person how beautiful you are how amazing you are don't let other people walk all over you you need to set, set clear boundaries too that's what i'm hearing i also see that with the distorted masculine they're going to almost like change your view of past relationships so i feel like this person is definitely not someone that has an issue with showing their ego and things like that i feel like in the past maybe you were in relationships with people that um were very career oriented but they were doing it just to show people that hey look i have money i am clocking in i have a good career but they had very distorted views of themselves and how they needed to be in a relationship and i feel like you guys are going to be healing each other a lot Okay, with reparenting yourself, I feel like you've been through things in your past, they've been through things in their past, and together, your love not only enriches each other, but you also heal your inner child, which is something that's really beautiful. And I'm just going to open it here because I, I don't, I don't want to get in trouble. But as you guys can see here, I see that physically you guys are also going to be very very compatible you're going to be very open with expressing your needs your wants um and just exploring each other is what i'm trying to say okay so it does feel very very beautiful group number two i love this energy so 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 much and yeah they definitely want to make sure that um you guys are surrounded by good people that truly love you that um it's take and give you know and they love you just as much as you love them um, they want you to have people that love you just as much as you love these people is what I'm trying to say. But anyways, group number two, I really hope this reading helped. I'm sending you guys so much love. This sounds so amazing. If you enjoyed this, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Hello, my beautiful group number three. Let's see who are you destined to be with. So a little recap, we're going to be looking into the energy of your person, their looks, how your relationship is going to be together, how they see you, how they treat you, things like that. So let's get your reading started. You guys have the six of cups with joy. I love it so much. Let's get straight into it. So guys, can you please let us know the energy of the person that group number three is destined to be with, their energy. Oh, <laughs> interesting. Okay, um, let's grab this oracle. <laughs> I love it. There was almost like this duality, okay? Interesting. Okay. Let's grab... Okay, energy of group number three's person that they're destined to be with. Energy of group number three's person. Okay, we have two cards. We have the owl spirit. This came, oh my god, this is so funny. This came forward in group number two's reading. And this came forward in group number one's reading. As you guys can see, there is a lot of card right here. So I'm being shown. First of all, your person has such a duality. Okay. And uh, the fact that this came forward in group number one and this came forward in group number two. Your guys are almost showing me. It's a mixture of both. Okay. This person is so funny. Like you guys are so playful together. Um, let me just grab one more oracle and then I'll get straight into it. It's almost like you guys love playing pranks on each other or surprising one another. Um... <laughs> Look at this. We have joy twice now. Anything else, guys? I love the energy so much. This is like... Okay. Look at this. We have the Six of Cups. Okay. Joyfulness and joy. You guys have so much fun together. And then we have haughtiness okay and we also have apple and teacup and owl spirit and dog spirit so first of all you guys i love this energy so so much like this person really calls out to me okay they are someone that is so loving but at the same time they're so wise like something about them is like oh my gosh sorry i am like getting so excited because their energy is so attractive they have such an attractive energy first of all 
I see you guys having a lot of fun together. So your energy, you're not just lover, you're best friends, okay? You have a lot of fun together. No matter where you are, you guys could be stuck at an airport and your flight's been delayed for eight hours and you guys can be laughing or having fun just because the chemistry is just so strong and you have so much fun together, okay? They feel like... I'm trying to find the perfect word for it. They feel like a holiday, okay? They feel like you're on holiday 24 seven. Even when you're stressed, if you're around their energy, you feel relaxed with a teacup. You feel like ugh, all your worries just melt away because everything's gonna be okay. They have that energy about them. They're able to soothe you, okay? I also see though, again, like I mentioned, duality, okay? Even though they feel like your best friend, even though they feel like holiday <laughs> like like you guys just have so much fun together there is something about them that is so seductive okay they're like that forbidden apple like something you are so sexually attracted to this person um and you see them and they're so attracted to you like there's something about your chemistry that is like even though you guys have been together for a really long time you still look at them and you're like oh my god this person is so hot and they still see you that way which is something that's so beautiful which is why i'm so excited for you guys okay so there is this balance of being each other's best friends, but also being each other's lovers, okay? Being very loyal to each other, feeling very safe. Being with them is like, oh my god, oh, sorry, I'm getting so distracted. You know that song by Ras Ras Rascal Flats? Every long lost dream led me to where you are. Okay, anyway. <laughs> You see clearly now. Others who broke my heart, they were like northern stars, pointing me on my way into your loving arms. This much I know is true. Okay, God bless the broken road. Let me straight to you. Sorry about that. But it's like everything makes sense now. Everything that happened to you in the past led you straight to this person, and everything that happened to them led them straight to you. So you guys feel like everything just fell into place. It feels like destiny that you guys found each other. Well, you guys are destined to be together, so that's why. Um, but you guys are so loyal to each other. You guys are able to have so much fun together, like playful, like child, like, like dogs, like, you know, bouncing from one place to another, having fun. When you guys are sitting somewhere, you're not on your phone. Like if you're eating or something, you guys are just like sitting there discussing anything and everything under the sun. Like it's just so like enthralling being in each other's presence but at the same time you're so attracted to each other you there's the sexual attraction is very very strong the chemistry is definitely there and it's just this duality that is so so beautiful anything else guys in regards to this person's energy look at that okay there is this feeling of like we are so compatible we are so compatible and if you guys are like two consenting adults like you just want to be together all the time like the compatibility is there the chemistry is so 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 strong um but yeah guys okay now let's go into their looks you guys i love i love how joy has come out twice already it's so beautiful you guys just have so much fun together it's like you guys can be children you know like like you speak to your inner child but at the same time it, you're so attractive like it's just the best of both worlds is what i'm trying to say okay so let's go into their looks how does group number three's person look interesting group number three's person oh just a few please guys group number three's person okay <laughs> oh my goodness okay okay um Okay, group number three, for all the other groups, it was quite clear how they looked, but for your person, <laughs> um, your guys are saying they're shapeshifters, okay? So there's a lot of you guys, they all look quite different. So for some of you guys, it could be like they have brown hair, for some, they could have red hair, for some, they could have colored hair, black hair, it doesn't really matter. Your guys are saying it doesn't really matter what their hair color is, it doesn't really matter how they look. What matters is that this person is gonna be looking like your type like your perfect type like your heart is going to be like so attracted to this person so obviously because there's a lot of you guys watching this video what resonates to you what is attractive to you that is the person that you're going to get okay you are going to be so attracted to this person you see that person is holding a heart and a heart it's almost like a puzzle piece okay this person when you see them you're going to be instantly attracted to them it's almost like a puzzle piece it's almost like oh, this is the kind of person that i've been looking at maybe it's difficult for you guys to kind of pinpoint what your type is physically but when you see this person it's almost like you want to tell your friends this this is my type this is the kind of person i see it's not one specific look for group number three but definitely this is someone that you find very very attractive okay anything else guys in regards to how this person looks anything at all that you can tell us about how this person looks 
Anything else you can tell us? Oh, okay. We have Eagle and Mirror Guardian. Interesting. Okay, so your guys are saying, even though there's not one specific look to this person that relates to all of you guys watching for group number three, but there is definitely two things. One is that with Eagle, see from a higher perspective, there's, they're definitely taller than you. This person is taller than you. And second, with Mirror Guardian, there is something about them that is very similar to you. Okay, this could be many things. It could be that you have the same eye color. It could be that when you look into each other, it's almost like, wait, we could look like siblings. People could mistake us as siblings. Or it could just be something like, maybe their nose is a little bit crooked to the left and your nose is a little bit crooked to the right. So when you're looking into each other, it's almost like crooked in the same way. Do you know what I mean? Also, oh my God, sorry guys. I keep hearing music. I keep hearing music when I'm doing your reading and I didn't in group number one and group number two. So first I was, you know, rascal flats. God bless the broken road. And now I'm hearing Postal Service. I don't know if you guys know this song, but it's quite old. And the title is, oh my gosh, I don't remember the title, but it's like, um... I'm thinking it's a sign that the freckles in our eyes are mirrored images and when we kiss they're perfectly aligned. Like that song. I'm gonna write the lyrics somewhere on the screen now, but please listen to it because it does feel like that. Like something about the way you guys are physically kind of feels like a reflection of each other. So even though you guys have different features or different skin tones or things like that, something feels very similar is what I'm trying to say. Okay, guys. Okay, wow. I love this person's energy so much, you guys. Okay, so now let's go into your relationship together. So how do they see you? How do they treat you? How do they see you? How does group number three's person see group number three? How does group number three's person see group number three? No? Okay. Not from this deck. We'll go back to that. How does group number three's person see group number three? Oh. Wow. One more. No, that's it. Okay. Okay. How does group number three's person see group number three? Okay, and finally, sorry guys, I just want to grab all of it. Oops, this one almost fell, so let's do it again. Wow. And one more. How does group number three's person see group number three? Oh, that jumped out in a very interesting way. Sorry guys, I'm just laughing because we have a dream. Have a cup of tea in the garden and find yourself in a good book and their energy. Look at this. Teacup. <laughs> Teacup. Have a cup of tea. Teacup in the garden and find yourself in a good book. You also feel like relaxation and um, rest and you feel like a retreat to them. You know how I said they feel like a holiday. You feel like a retreat. They feel like they can just ah when they're around you okay anyways i'm getting ahead of myself so we have wholeness we have you are enough we have um the tower in reverse we have the ace of wands with passion we have devil with seduction what did i tell you guys we have the seven of wands we have the prince of pentacles we have dream rest and patience first of all let me tell you they've been very very patient waiting for you and waiting for love to come their way they're very picky actually i feel like there were moments um, in their life where people were like, you should just not settle, but like, oh, come on, give this person a chance, give that person a chance. But they were like, no, no, I'm not going to give something a chance. I'm not going to settle or I'm not going to, you know, try to waste my time or someone else's time if I feel like we're not, you know, meant to be together. But so it's almost like you came into their lives and all of a sudden they feel like, oh, my God, this is it. This is my person. I just feel like you're everything I ever wanted. You're everything that I ever needed. They are someone that's their love language, I feel, is words of affirmation. Okay, they will constantly tell you that they care about you, that you are enough, that you are someone that they truly value in life. Okay, we also have money and Leo. I feel like when because of your 
arrival in their lives, it's also going to bring a surge of energy in their career. I feel like they're going to be a lot bolder when making uh, choices and decisions that are career based. I feel like they are like, I want to build a life with this person. I want to make sure that I can also provide, you know, whatever. I feel like they're already in a good situation career wise, but actually, sorry, I just want to have a look at that. I just want to have a look like group number three is kind of situation. Yeah. I feel like they're already quite in a good position career-wise, but I think your arrival is gonna make them almost like light a fire on their, you know, like behind. It's gonna make them feel a lot more bolder and a lot more brave when making decisions. I feel like maybe right now they're in, stuck in a contract that they're not necessarily happy with, but your arrival is gonna like almost ignite this passion within them. And they're like, you know what? I wanna have my own business. I'm gonna open my own company. Things like that is what I'm trying to say. Um, Money-wise, something about you brings luck into their career sector is what I'm seeing, okay? Now, we have the tower in reverse, we have the ace of wands, we have the devil, we have the devil twice, once about his their career and one about you. They are so attracted to you, like so attracted to you. I feel like they sometimes have trouble being attracted to people like, or maybe they're very picky or just nitpicky in general, like when it comes to, I don't know, I don't know what it is, but they have a very specific type just like I feel like you guys sometimes have very specific types you know um but something about you is just so attractive to them like you are so seductive to them you make them feel so passionate um and yeah and you're just a very good light like as in as much as I love their energy I think you bring so much light into their lives okay and we have dream rest patience again Okay, dream, have a cup of tea in the garden and find yourself in a good book. Rest, slow down. You don't have to solve everything today. When they're around you, it feels like time just stops. Everything just fades away. All the worries just melt away because there is something about your energy. The way that I said it about their energy in the beginning. You know how I said in the beginning when you're around them, it just feels like, ugh, like you're safe. Everything's fine. That's exactly how they feel when they're with you. Like they feel like they can just rest their heads and they're absolutely fine and they're safe and they're accepted for who they are and you know they never want to rush you into anything this is so okay uh i'm just getting the energy of someone that is so playful and so charming and so good looking <laughs> like i'm sure they've broken a lot of hearts in the past but they were always waiting for the right person and you're the right person is what i want to say anything else guys I almost don't want to stop this end this reading because I just love their energy so much. Yeah. They're also someone that will not give up. If you guys are having an argument, if you guys are having a disagreement, they are someone that's like, come, let's let's talk through this. I want to understand where you're coming from and I don't want to go to sleep angry. They're not someone that's going to go, let's break up or let's end this. No, they are going to work through things with you. Um, so anyways, group number three, I love this person so much. I love their energy so, so, so much. Actually, let me try and get this card again because it didn't want to come out earlier. Oh, I guess it doesn't want to. Anything else, guys? Let's try one last time about group number three's person. Oh my gosh, we have courage again. Look at this. So literally with you in their lives, they feel unstoppable. They feel so like, they feel like Hercules with you, okay? There's nothing they can't do. There's nothing they can't achieve. You give them so much strength. Like literally it, with you in their lives, they're unstoppable. So you're bringing so much luck and so much joy into their lives. I feel like your guys didn't want me to bring this card because it's basically just reiterations. Courage, courage. You are enough worthiness. I am worthy of the ultimate happiness. I deserve and accept it. And damn it, I'm not going to feel guilty about it when I get it. Guilt is not invited to my happiness party. I won't even tell him where it is. If he asks about it, I'll be like, no, I think you're thinking of something else. And then I'll run away very quickly. There is something about your uh, arrival into their lives that makes them feel like, again, like I mentioned, unstoppable. Like they're so worthy of happiness, but they're also someone that will constantly remind you how amazing you are and how worthy of of, of the good things in your life you are and how worthy of your goals you are. Like they are just someone 
that will constantly give you a dose of reality that you are magical that you are so beautiful and that they love you so so much but group number three oh my goodness this person's energy is just so amazing and i'm so excited for you guys literally and i really hope that this reading helped you guys if it did please give it a like and subscribe to my channel i wish you guys the very best of luck i am so excited for you and i hope i'll see you in my next video bye Thank you.